Hey YouTubers, I've been sick of storing all my paints and cantilevered storage boxes that's a pain in the butt to get to the paints. The paints don't sit in the right direction, so I've designed to, to, to decided to design my own carousel. Um, what you'll need should you want to copy the process, you'll need some MDF sheen, 6mm wide, size of this is 606 by 1220mm. You're also going to need obviously cutting tools, hole cutters, different sizes for your drill and obviously an electric drill if you've got it, an electric saw if you've got it. What you're going to do is cut up circles, you're going to layer the circles so you end up with 12mm thick MDF. One side is going to be completely smooth, the other side you're going to bore your holes, I don't know if we can see this, but you're going to bore holes right through and glue together. Very simple, but it holds all your paints in place in the carousel once we have it fully assembled. Also going to require some small lumps of wood stuck to the bottom to give you feet. That can be from any small bits of pine, any leftover bits of pine, I can obviously go and buy some. But cheaper if you've got any leftover to use that instead. To make your carousel turn, you may recognise this sort of thing. It's an internal gubbins for putting on a microwave, the bit where your plate spins round. This will rotate nicely round, so once we've got our other section on top, this rotates round that lovely. We're also going to stick a broom handle down the centre of this. The broom handle obviously keeps all the carousels in place. These carousels are going to hold 20 paints. I've bored them to fit uh, Games Workshop paints. You can bore them to any size you want. But these are to fit Citadel size paint pots. Again, I'll give you the sizes for cutting these holes at the end of the video. One other little feature. Cutting the circles again. These we're going to put on more base. This is my wife's idea, but it just keeps the little turntable in place. So, glued into place there. Don't know if we can see that well, but glued into place. This other one will glue onto our bottom carousel in place as such if we can see that and that just gives us a lock between the bottom and the top between the bottom and the top of that microwave gubbins there and that sits down on another one so we end up with a compact unit where you can't even see what you've got the turntable on but the turntable spins beautifully once I've got it assembled, I'll show you all of that. I'm going for six layers so I can hold 120 paints. I may put another pyramid stack on top in the centre area to hold basin sprays, things like that. Thank you for your time. Please let me know if this video is any of use. Hey tubers, what I'm going to do here is put my mail onto my bottom. What am I looking for? my bottom part of the carousel. The reason I'm going to do this, and the way I'm going to do it, is attach it to the pole. This rotates round the pole quite readily, but just so the two of these match up beautifully, put it on your centre spindle pole and attach your glue that way, and that way no accidents can happen. Just some wood glue, whack it on, can be relatively liberal, don't want this coming away on us, but obviously don't overdo it too much either. Stick it through the spindle, if you get clamps you can clamp it in place, that way where male is now going to be locked in place, female much easier, just a bit of glue on the outside but we'll make sure this lines up when we go to put the two together. Youtubers next step, take our microwave spindle, sit it on, that'll spin nicely, Take our female component, so the two lock in place. This one does not get glued to the first part of the carousel. It's going to lie loose there. We're going to stick our glue on, just round, I can't see that, just round the bottom, whack it on. I'm using what am I using? Boss stick wood adhesive, any sort of wood PVA glue, use whatever you want, use whatever you're used to. This is the one we get in the UK, it's relatively strong, relatively good. 
It's probably slightly deeper than some, dearer than some other brands, but I like it. Drop your base per component down and line up the female. And if you've got a clamp, clamp it all in place. I've got to show you these. These are what I'm using as spacers. Basically these were bed slats that I cut off an old pine bed, but any chunks of pine will do. Three of them I'm putting deep. You can put whatever you want. Two probably would actually fit a Citadel paint, but it's quite tight. So I went for three on the blocks of wood I've got. That means if I'm not using Citadel paints and want to change to something else like P3, I think it's called, um, I can start going with a slightly taller paint pot as well. So going for the slightly deeper blocks, that way I don't need to remake the carousel. Should I change the paint range I want to use? Because honest, some Citadel paints are good and some are just not that great. Should also add, you're using two different sizes of holes and were blocks. In the spacers, which is where three put together, we're using the bigger hole again, sizes I'll put on in text format, see if you try to write things down as we go through. And on were block at the bottom, which is going to hold where spindle in place, the hole is the same size as the spindle. Because I'm using a broom handle, it's the same size as a broom handle. Again, they can vary, so you'll just need to measure and see, but I'll give you the sizes for the one I produced. Broom handle was bought from B&Q if you're in the UK, that way you might get the same sort of size. So, one is going to be our holder for the spindle on the base. Spacers, larger holes, because these don't need a grip, they're only going to be spacers between the holes on our carousel for where the paints are going to be, and the other ones with the size of the right holes to grab and hold the spindle. Right, you shivers, made the blocks, stick the blocks onto the bottom of your carousel. As you can see, holes go right through, bottom holes in the blocks larger than the hole in the top because the hole in the top of the carousel is what's going to grip the boom handle. Also on your broom handle, aka spindle, glue one more block to the bottom of that. This will spin round the base, wrong one. This will spin round inside the base when attached and giving you the final design. So next stage after that is join everything together. La, 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 la. Keep. I can see you. It's beginning to take on a bit of a shape now. Got all the carousel shelves slotted in and glued down on top of each other on the top of the spindle. What I'm next going to do is put a small pyramidal shelf or a lip in this area to hold my cans of primer and undercoats. After that, chop it off some part of the handle. Not actually done my measurements for that yet, but we'll get there. And put some for a finial or end cap on the top to use as a handle. After that, prime. The actual wood, finish that off, I've got MDF paint, again picked up from B&Q specific for the job. Stick some feet in the bottom and Bob's your uncle, job's a good one. I hope. Okay guys, camera's struggling to get a focus on this one but you can just see how close to the edges you need to get if you want to maximise the amount of surface wood you're going to be using for layers. Dimensions for the sheet board I gave you, I can get five full circles out of it by patterning them across, but you need to be very, very close. This one's actually one for the small top pyramidal area, because I've got to take footage of what I'd done earlier. Um, but it's the exact same principle, just spread out to a larger size. This one's going to hold 12 pots, whereas the other one held 20 pots. Next thing I need to do now, is lob down this broom handle, get it down in appropriate length as a handle for the centre of the spindle. But as you can see, we've now added another layer to the very last top of the cap, top end of the carousel. So the outer layer holds 20, the inner layer holds 12. So overall, 132 Citadel-sized paints can be held. Um, smaller paints, you could small, drill smaller holes and squeeze a hell of a lot more in there. Um, so I'll show you the next update just shortly once we're past that, but now I'm moving on to chopping that down and then priming. Quick correction, evil stick, not boss stick. <laughs>